third largest ship in the German merchant marine, the Columbus. On the outbreak of war, this 32,000 ton liner was in harbour in Mexico. She decided to run for home through the British blockade. Some 400 miles off the coast of Bermuda, the United States cruiser Tuscaloosa was hitting the sea on neutrality patrol. The Tuscaloosa picked up a wireless message saying that the Columbus had sighted a British warship. The Graf Spee had set the fashion and the Nazi captain proceeded to set fire to his ship. These amazing pictures were taken as passengers and crew left the doomed ship in their lifeboats. So the Nazi merchant marine lives up to the proud tradition of the Nazi Navy. All the passengers and crew were taken on board the Tuscaloosa. They were landed in New York and not one life was lost. Germans have brought scuttling to a fine art, but the sailors themselves don't always like it. Listen to the German captain, Captain Dana. I must say, that under rather trying circumstances, sailors have never had made a final reception. You know, there was not much to be done for us when the British destroyer came near, then scuttled, you know, order the horrors. Yes, it's the Nazi government's orders. And it's the Nazi government that orders the torpedoing and bombing of defenseless merchant shipping. These German survivors who received such kindly treatment, what do they really think about it?